My name's Kara. Um, I've been at the DAE for about a year and a half now. And some of the things I teach are digital drawing slash graphic design. I teach some 3D printing. Um, I teach animation. And lately I've been teaching a lot of Python. So my name is David and I've been working here at the DAE for a little over a year. So I teach Python and Java, and I also teach Unity, uh, 2D and 3D. Hi there, I'm Evan. Uh, I've been working at the DAE for five to six years, and I teach a little bit of everything, ranging from scratch to robotics, uh, video production, all that kind of stuff. My name is Elijah Letterman. I've been at the DAE for about six or seven months now, I believe. And I mainly teach um, Tinkercad 3D printing classes and some YouTube video production. My name is Lori and I've been at the DAE for five years. I'm the creative director and I work on the website, I do brochures, I design social media posts and all things creative. My name is Patrick McCabe. I've been at the DAE on and off for about four years now. I mostly teach 3D and 2D animation. I've also taught virtual reality, game design, 3D printing, uh, coding. My name is Chase. I've been teaching around four or five years now. I teach 3D animation. I teach 3D printing, scratch, digital painting. My name is Emily Angel. I have been with the digital arts experience for going on eight years. Um, I started as, I was actually hired as an audio engineering instructor, and then um, I taught Scratch for a long time, and now I am the marketing director at the DAE. My name is Talia. So I've been at the DAE for about two years now. It's going to be two years in June. And I teach basically digital art, so photography, um, how to make YouTube videos, graphic design. Um, and I also do some 3D printing things. My name is Nicholas Souza. I am currently director of operations at the Digital Arts Experience. And I've been, how long have I been working there? Eight, is it eight years now? So yeah, so eight years. Um, I started out as a uh, instructor of animation, moved to visual effects, game design, and slowly, bit by bit, I crept my way into the admin staff. My name is Will Jameson. I've been at the DAE for six years, and I teach the upper-level programming classes. My name is Sabrina Balducci. Uh, I've been at the DAE for a long time now, <laughs> about four years. Yeah, and I teach mostly digital art classes. Outside of the DAE, uh, I really enjoy uh, game development with a bunch of my, my colleagues. And we just sort of get together over a weekend and, and jam out, work on a project. Something unique about me is that I play the guitar and the bass. Outside of the DAE, some of my hobbies are I love listening to all kinds of music. Um, I love dancing. I actually used to dance a lot in uh, high school. I love drawing my own comic books. And lately I've been doing a lot of reading. Something unique about me is I enjoy both playing video games and also working on music. And I tend to mix those together by making all sorts of remixes for games I like. So something unique I guess I do in my free time is I, uh, I actually design and screen print t-shirts that I sell with a couple of my friends. Usually at some, some shows I go to with my band, usually it's where we end up selling most of them. Something unique about me is that my entire family is from Romania. Another thing is that I'm an artist and I love to draw animals. Well, I'm the only instructor uh, at the DAE teaching from out of state. Uh, I'm the first instructor in the DAE national program. That's something unique about me. Something that's actually uh, unique about me is I was the first winner of the Greenwich Youth Film Festival Award for Best Animation back in 2012. I do a lot of costume stuff. I used to do some armor smithing for a bit. So something unique about me is I am super into obstacle course racing. I love mud runs. I think it's really fun to run around through the woods. Something unique about me is I'm really obsessed with architecture. So I always make it a goal to travel as much as possible so I can see the different types of architectures around the world and I photograph them all. Something unique about me is that I over plan for everything. Uh, maybe excessively so sometimes, I have to scale it back, but I have a very detail-oriented mind. Something else unique about me is I've been a dungeon master running the same campaign for, I think it's been, it's coming up on four years, possibly. 
Uh, so it's the longest campaign uh, and the first campaign I ever did, actually. Something unique about me is that I'm really into video games and I like to use that as a way to connect with students to get across complicated programming topics. Something unique about me is I love to knit. A memory that stands out to me while I was working at the DAE is uh, I was giving a Python group lesson and uh, one of my students wasn't really into the material at all. After after I found out that he was interested in timelines and a number of TV shows, we tried to incorporate that into the material. And uh, his, his attitude totally changed and he was a lot more motivated to participate and he really started to pick up the material you know, like, like a sponge. For me, every time that a student might have been struggling or having an issue with learning a specific thing and when you finally see them get it and like a light click and their face light up and they're so happy and enthusiastic um that is so rewarding to me one really good memory i have working at the digital arts experience uh was i had a student one time that uh was just starting the program we were learning i believe it was scratch and uh, he was struggling a lot, but after we sat down and worked on a project that was of his interests, uh, he started to get it a lot faster. And then in like a week or two, came back and was basically an advanced student. By taking interests of the students and adding it to the curriculum, it really helps the motivation uh, throughout the class. One of my most memorable moments from teaching my first Tinkercad class, one of my students was having a little trouble like thinking of something to make and she was struggling uh, just getting into the program itself in general. She, she found it a little hard at first. And just to kind of motivate her, I showed her some projects that I work on in my free time and I showed her um, the Millennium Falcon and she was just absolutely in awe and just her eyes lit up and she was like, how, how did you do that? Showing how to do that. And it was just a really like a fulfilling moment for me. One of my favorite memories at the DAE was a couple years ago when I was speaking to a parent who wanted to enroll her child in a class. The parent that I spoke to had a son who had some challenges communicating and he was made fun of in school and she was afraid that he was gonna get made fun of at the DAE as well. And I ensured her that he was not going to get made fun of. All of our students and staff were extremely welcoming and he was gonna fit in perfectly. And he ended up having a great time in our classes and fitting in. My favorite memory of DAE is really hard to pick because Working at the DAE has meant so much to me over the years, and honestly, like, I have so many great memories at the DAE, but my favorite moment whenever I teach is when things are finally coming together for the students near the end, and they get so excited, they get so happy, they, they see their work finally coming together, they've been struggling maybe at some point, or maybe they weren't, but, like, it's all coming together, and they see it, and they get so excited and proud of what they've done, and it fills me with a sense of pride to see them just like come up to me and be like, hey, look at this thing I did. Even if it's something that's from outside of class, that's even better for me because it's like, oh, I, I took what you taught me and I decided to try something on my own and I'm really excited to show you about it. That means the world to me to be one of the first people that the student wants to actually show something. That, that means that I've done a good job as a teacher that I've gotten them excited about art in a way that I get excited about art. And that's so rewarding and great for me. There was a Unity class I was helping out with and the kid made these ridiculously hard levels. Like he made this level that was a platformer where everything was black and white and your little character model kept vanishing into the background, making the jumps ungageable you just you couldn't figure out where you were and we just went around challenging all the teachers to do that game and it was hilarious my favorite memory at the digital arts experience was probably when i was teaching scratch we used to go around and all look at each other's projects we used to point out i would have the kids point out things that they liked about the other people's projects and things that i wouldn't have even thought of saying, you know, this is really cool, the kids would pick out. And then at the end, we would all clap for each other. And that just was like one of the most fun things. One of my favorite experiences at the DAE was I had a student who was very into creating things on Adobe Illustrator to have them laser cut on wood. But 
since with the laser cutter you have to be very specific about what is going to be cut and what is going to be engraved it was kind of hard for them to be able to differentiate both of them but after i think two classes they got it right away and it was really cool to see how excited they got to see their product at the end and how hard they worked i i would say um one of the best moments that i, I can recall is when um when a, an instructor is trying something new so occasionally what will happen is the staff will they have like their core um abilities and like what they focus on usually but then occasionally they will try to branch out into something new and it's really exciting to see them understand it and then start passing that on to other students as a secondary note one of my other favorite times is when we got to beat the ever loving bejesus out of a uh extra computer that was uh broken and could not be repaired we got to sledgehammer it and pepper it into submission it was amazing my favorite memory at the dae is anytime that i get to take an arcade game design class and just spend some time researching some video games for us to start dissecting and taking apart as a class one of my favorite things about teaching at the dae is watching a student's progress so watching them start not quite knowing what they're doing yet a little bit shaky to having grasped concepts and start teaching me new things. That's, that's the best part. One of the things that I learned right away from my colleagues is that you, you always have their support, whatever it may be. You might have a tech issue. You might have a art or programming issue. You kind of, you kind of learn to use the, the resources, the entire DAE. Honestly learned a lot of things from everybody. Ever since I came to the DAE, everyone's been super duper helpful. I got a shout out to Nick, especially because he was the one who trained me in animation. And that is probably one of my favorite classes, if not my favorite class to teach. I already had a background with um, the digital drawing tools with Adobe, so that side of it came really easy for me. But I gotta give it to Nick because he was super patient with me learning how to use the keyframes and the onion skin tool. Definitely Evan as well. He knows a lot about scratch coding. And um, he actually helped me and taught me how to incorporate GIFs as sprites. I can't stress how awesome everybody on the DAE team is. Something I've learned from a DAE instructor was how to use Blender. I actually didn't know anything about it at first, uh, but once I sat down with my coworker and friend Chase, he was able to show me the ropes of how everything worked in it. And now I'm able to teach it perfectly as well. Before teaching at a DAE, I actually did not even know anything about 3D printing at all. Um, but. Nick showed me Tinkercad on like pretty much my first or second day there, I think. And the whole way, I mean, Nick has been very, pretty helpful with the whole 3D printing thing and teaching me like as I go along. Any questions I have, I mean, he knows the answer for him. One thing that I've learned from another DAE team member is that you can always turn a negative into a positive. We see a lot of students get frustrated in the middle of coding something or designing something and instructors have said, hey, it's okay. You can learn from it, you know, we'll just fix the issue and we'll move on and um, the student isn't frustrated anymore because they were able to learn from that challenge. One thing that a bunch of the instructors actually taught me, it was something that they all kind of came together and helped me with, is uh, about a year or two ago, I had to build my own computer uh, for the first time and I was struggling try trying to figure it out so I sent a message out to the general Slack and a bunch of the different instructors, Will, Sabrina, Nick, all came together and just helped me um, figure out how to build a computer, how to go about making my own computer, where I could go look. And it was really great because it was not just one instructor, but it was just a bunch of them all coming together, really just kind of emphasizing that like the DA is a community and we're all just willing to help each other out and come, come together when someone needs it. That's really great. I'm constantly learning from my coworkers, everything that I know about video editing, um, after Effects, Photoshop, I've learned from my coworkers, Lori, Nick. So it's been pretty awesome to um, like anything that I want to know or anytime I need um, help, like fixing my PC, Rob is there. So uh, it's just assimilating information from everybody at the DAE, literally. Something I learned from a colleague, which was Evan, was how to program a robot. It was like spring break at the DAE and we had um, the workshops, but there weren't too many students that day. So I didn't have enough students, so I wanted to help Evan and he taught me how to program it. 
I think in like six minutes. It was like super quick and easy and I thought it was so cool. I think I was having more fun than the kids were. I would say probably what I've learned uh, the most is um, uh, occasionally I would talk with uh, a couple instructors and I'd get some help with programming. Uh, programming is something that I can do, but it is, I'm a very visual person and coding is not very visual. Uh, so it is very tough for me. So uh, getting some extra tidbits of knowledge and how to work your way through it and not you know, turn into a blubbering mess on the floor of why your code's not working is uh, very, very good. Something I've learned from other instructors is I've had to turn to the more artistic and design heavy instructors to help me make assets for some of the programming games that we've made. And so they've really aided me with cleaning those up and making them look nice. So something I've learned from an instructor, uh, I've learned a lot from Evan on just uh, mindset and behavior, how to be patient and accepting of all sorts of students and their questions and really have fun with it.